This is carbon dioxide, or CO2, in the Earth's atmosphere. It is derived from a synthesis of observed and simulated data. Reds and yellows show regions of higher than average CO2, while blues show regions lower than average. The pulsing of the data is caused by the day-night cycle of plant photosynthesis at the ground. As CO2 is lifted away from the surface, it is rapidly spread around the world by high-altitude winds. The high concentrations are from the buildup of CO2 during the Northern Hemisphere winter, when photosynthesis is not active and CO2 is produced by plant decay. By July, photosynthesis in the vast vegetation regions north of the equator draws massive amounts of CO2 out of the atmosphere, resulting in low carbon dioxide across the entire northern hemisphere. The growth and decay of vegetation in northern lands cause the seasonal change in atmospheric carbon dioxide seen here between March and July. While seasonal changes in vegetation growth control CO2 on monthly timescales, human activities govern long-term carbon dioxide trends.